Let's get right into working with Xamarin. Now, of course, the first thing that you will have to do to be able to work with Xamarin is, well, to install Xamarin. And for those of you who have Mac, this is the lecture for you. If you are working on Windows, you can just skip this lecture and go over to the other one, the next one. Now, in the case of Mac, you do need to do a couple of things. The first one actually has very little to do with Xamarin and more to do with Apple. And the fact that if you want to develop iOS apps, you need the iOS SDK and all of the emulators. And that can only be obtained by installing Xcode. This is something that you don't have to do at all in the case of Android. If you're not going to be developing for iOS, but if you are, you will have to install Xcode. Now, if you're going to be working with Windows, you will also have to install this and the Visual Studio, which I'm about to take a look at in just a few seconds, because this, after all, is what is going to be installing all of the iOS tools on your computer. So, for example, right now I have an update for version 10.0. I currently have the version 9. Point something which now includes the ability for us to develop for iOS 12. So iOS 12 has been out for a while for developers, but actually just today, in the moment of recording this lecture on the 17th of September, it was released to the public along with Xcode. So I would want to go ahead and update Xcode, but we just need to come here to the Mac App Store, search for Xcode and install it. Right after installing it, you will be able to navigate to visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash Xamarin and download Xamarin for Mac. In here you have many options and I find that there's no real reason to select anyone in here. You can just select anyone you want. After all, the difference between community, professional, or enterprise is going to be based on your email account. So if you download the community edition and then you log in with one account that has purchased enterprise, Visual Studio is automatically going to be updated to enterprise. And actually, maybe it just unlocks some functionality because it really does nothing, it doesn't even reload. But just go ahead and download one of these options. I suggest you start with the community right away, which is going to be more than enough, and launch the installer that is going to be downloaded. All you will have to do is double click on this download button, and when it opens you will see that first the installer is going to go ahead and evaluate what you have installed, and what you do not have installed. In my case, because I already have installed some things previously, it says that Visual Studio for Mac is installed, some version of iOS, the .NET Core, and Android development with Xamarin Forms is also installed. Optionally, it is telling me that I can install Xamarin Workbooks and Inspector and tools for Mac OS. These are not going to be used in the course, so we can deselect them. I see some updates available to my Android SDK, so I could go ahead and select this one. Basically, what you have to make sure that you do in here is that you install Android, iOS, and the .NET Core. This is going to be absolutely necessary for you to continue with the curse, so go ahead and select that and hit on Install. Of course, depending on how much you're going to be installing and your internet speed, this is going to take a few minutes, but after that is done, you can select to open Visual Studio immediately after, which I am going to do, so I can get started right away with Xamarin development. After the download is successful, you will see right here that you get Visual Studio open right away. And like I said, if you go ahead and log in, you are going to see a small tag up here of the version of Visual Studio that you have on your account. You notice how I downloaded the Community Edition yet. 
after logging in IC Enterprise. So there you have it. Like I said, in the next lecture, we're going to take a look at how you can install on Windows, but if you are not going to be using Windows, you are entirely good to go. In the next lecture, after the next lecture, then we're going to be starting right away by creating a new project here on Mac.